Hello everyone, Artisan Pirate here and welcome back to the channel. We are on location today up in downtown historic Gibsonville, North Carolina where they are doing their annual Lighting of the Green event. This is just a small town Christmas event that I wanted to bring to the platform and hopefully you guys can experience through my eyes like I like to do. We've done a couple videos up here in Gibsonville. Of course, we've done the Gibsonville Garden Railroad which is going to be a big draw tonight because it's going to be lit up for night time trains and everything and then we've also been to the Gibsonville antique store that is across the tracks but this is an annual event that takes place in the heart of Gibsonville North Carolina and I hope you guys follow along here they have the street appropriate trains called Triad Express and it is decked out for the Christmas season I'm up here a little bit before the actual event starts the event starts at 5 p.m. and they're gonna do the actual lighting of the greens where they will light up the downtown Christmas tree and all of the lights at 6 p.m. and then the event will run until 9 p.m. of course I probably won't be here that long but I did want to bring the video to the channel for you guys to enjoy And just to kind of timestamp this event, they do have a banner here. It says Town of Gibsonville Annual Lighting of the Green, Friday, November 15th from 5.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Free to attend and family friendly. As you can see here, people are now gathering. The Gibsonville Garden Railroad is over that way, but they have closed down the downtown street areas for people to patrol around. This place will get crowded very quickly. It's a very small downtown Main Street USA type downtown area, and I'm always happy when I have the chance to get up here and walk around. And here is where everything will take place at 6 o'clock. Here is the downtown Christmas tree replacing the classic water fountain here for the season. And you can see they have rope lights up all of the trees here in this park light area. But at 6 o'clock, they will be lighting the greens. And it will be the official kickoff for my neck of the woods for the Christmas season. over here in the same area where the Christmas tree is they do have what's called the Gibsonville Depot and what they will have here throughout the years during the summer months is actually they will have little mini concerts here and you can see I've just walked by the bleachers and everything so just a great small town feel there you see the jewelry store some shops here as we pan around and then Gibsonville also has the historic caboose here and you can walk in it is unlocked they have a rampway up to it and it also serves as Gibsonville's welcome center just crossed the railroad tracks and as you can see more people are doing it and everybody else will be doing it throughout the afternoon because there's stuff to see across the tracks but I have crossed over and here is Gibsonville Antiques and Collectibles it's housed in a two-level old mill and down here at the end of the road believe it or not is the hardwood store of North Carolina and they actually carry all of the exotic and hardwoods a woodworker would ever need And as I said, it's worth it to come across the tracks if you are able to do so. The Gibsonville Antique Store is giving away pinto beans, cornbread, coffee, and little cakes. Just stepped into the actual antique store for a few minutes. Of course, I'm keeping an eye on the time. I don't want to miss when they light up the tree. But tis the season to look at classic and nostalgic retro toys, games, hunt for Swiss Army knives, and model trains. The Gibsonville Antique Store 
will give you a Sharpie and you can sign your name anywhere along this wall here. You can see the vast majority of people who have signed it. And my name is on here somewhere. I've probably actually signed it a couple times throughout the years. And for those curious, the rail line that you see here travels directly through the center of historic downtown Gibsonville. And this is the rail line that both Amtrak, the Carolinian route, and the Piedmont route, as well as Norfolk Southern travels daily. So the tracks in Gibsonville are always very, very busy. So be careful if you try to cross them. You can see stores are now getting busy. Of course, a lot of the storefronts are decorated for the Christmas season with Christmas trees and seasonal decor and they are also running great sales. Walk down towards the end of Main Street to Jack's Barbecue. I have many fond memories of coming to this event, the lighting of the greens throughout my childhood, and me and my family would sit in there and catch a quick meal before heading up for the actual lighting of the Christmas tree. have a nice mural here painted on the side of the building. Really, really beautiful design. You have, of course, Gibsonville itself. You have the jewelry, you have the mill, you have Main Street, which we are on. Classic, creative, connected, and you have the Amtrak line that comes through downtown Gibsonville. As a matter of fact, this might make a great place to close the video. If you guys see this unassuming storefront here, it has right now peak performance personal training on the windows there. It does say open, but what I want to draw your guys' attention to is the two railroad logos at the top. You can see them there, traditionally seen on railroad crossings. What this store used to be many, many moons ago was Bobby's World of Trains, and it was one of the only locations in the Alamance County area where you could come and pick up model trains and stuff for the model railroading hobby. Of course, Mr. Bobby is no longer with us, but I also want you guys to know that the city give him the land for the Gibsonville Garden Railroad that we will walk up to and spend a little bit of time at. And upon his sad passing, it was left to the city and a group of dedicated volunteers now has the upkeep of it and it runs year round from spring to early winter. And the crowds are slowly gathering up at the Gibsonville Garden Railroad. Of course, this is one of its biggest openings of the year. Their opening dates are from early spring to right at the beginning of winter. And you can see there is a lot of action on this G-Scale Garden Railroad. So I'm just going to walk around and get a few clips. I don't know if I'm going to talk much, but I hope you guys enjoy. lot of action. The newest thing that has been added since I was up here the last time and the trains were running last year is the Cape Fear Bridge in Wilmington, North Carolina. They have a representation of the actual North Carolina battleship. I hope to go there one day and tour that and hopefully film it for you guys. But as you can see, a lot of action is taking place as the crowds gather. A lot of the trains have LED packages on them. There is Thomas going down the line with his coaches Annie and Clara Bell. And here comes another train lit up with some nice Christmas lights. 
It's always worth it to come up here and just take it all in, at least for 15 minutes or so. And one thing I love about Gibsonville, North Carolina, they have these little bulletins showcasing everything that's going on throughout the year or advertising events that's going to take place. And they have this give a book, take a book thing. I love seeing these things now that I'm back up to reading all of my books, so it's worth it to step by here and check everything out. And of course, they have the bounce houses out for the little ones. Not up and rocking and rolling yet. They are getting them inflated, but they'll soon be very busy with people bouncing in them. You can see how quickly everything got crowded. They have at the little replica depot letters to Santa, meet and greet with Santa Claus. And the crowds are gathering because it's almost time to light up the tree. Now that the tree has officially been lit for the 2024 Christmas season, everyone is kind of jostling for position to get a picture with the Christmas tree. I grabbed a couple of pictures that I will post to social media, but right now I'm going to find a good place to wrap up the video. And that, my friends, is going to wrap up this event, the Gibsonville Annual Lighting of the Green. Again, this is a seasonal event. It's usually the very first Christmas and seasonal event in my neck of the woods of Alamance County. It's free to attend, it's family friendly, and it happens every single year, weather permitting. We had a lot of rain yesterday, so I didn't know if I was going to make the drive up to Gibsonville because it's around 30 minutes from home in Burlington, North Carolina. But as the day got going, the sun came out and everything dried up. And I'm thankful that I came out and enjoyed it. And I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing it through my eyes in the retrospective style that I like to bring to the channel. But please keep in mind, smiles and memories were made. We had a great time here and it was way more going on than I could ever possibly bring to just a short retrospective video like this. So I always encourage everyone, if you see an event taking place in your small town or hometown even, please go out and go. You never know who you're going to meet. You can see family, you can see friends, you can see loved ones. And the most important thing, smiles and memories are always made. But that's about all for this one. I hope you guys have appreciated this jump into the Christmas season. I've had a lot of fun in this video and I hope you guys have as well. If you're new to the channel, hopefully you'll click that subscribe button and also follow me across all my social media feeds under the Artisan Pirate name. As always, links to contact me as well as all my social media feeds will always be linked down in the description box below these videos. That's about all for this one and remember guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Merry Christmas. Take care and I'll see you guys real soon.